hello and welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I recently just survived the appliance apocalypse of 2020. Within a three month period, all of our major appliances were just going like dominoes. First, the dishwasher broke, then the oven, then the fridge. One morning I just come downstairs, open the fridge just to discover all of our food had gone bad. The fridge just broke, just broke. Now that we have our new shiny fridge, it's time to organize her. And I know organizing your fridge might seem a little excessive. Most people out there are probably of the just, you know, shove it in and hope that it fits. But I promise you it is one of the most satisfying home organization projects that you will ever do. Like how are you gonna have a perfectly organized fridge and not have your life together? That's just science. Step one, measure. Do not skip this step. There was like a three year period where I just refused to measure anything. I don't know why, I just wanted to eyeball it. Yeah, don't be like me. There are two main types of refrigerators. There's standard and there's counter depth. Now we actually have a counter depth fridge. Those don't stick out quite as far. So you just want to get your measurements right before you go and order your bins. Step two is remove everything from your fridge and sort it into like categories. So your dairy items, your snack foods, your leftovers. This is always a fun journey because there's always that one thing that's like shoved into the back corner where you can't even identify what that food once was. It's so old and nasty. And if you don't have at least one thing in your fridge like that, I don't know if I trust you. Step number three, while everything is cleared out, you want to just give her a good wipe down, clean it all out, clean all of the shelves, the interior. You just want to get it looking nice and sparkly clean. I have been really liking this Thrive Market all-purpose cleaner. It has a nice fresh lemony scent, but use whatever cleaner that you like. This is the time, if you wish, to put down liners on all of your shelves. They make specialized fridge shelf liners that you can buy on Amazon. They have them in different colors. You can go clear, you can go hot pink, whatever you like. You also could use glad press and seal wrap so what this does is it just puts a barrier so if there are any spills it's a lot easier to clean up you just lift up the liner and then you can clean that off next step is to put your like items in bins and if you know me you're not going to be surprised that i'm going to tell you to put them in clear bins on amazon they have a set of 11 refrigerator organizer bins for like 29 bucks, so it's such a good price it's a really affordable project i would recommend going the extra step and labeling the bins because if you have other household members who are not organization freaks like you and don't want to take the time to figure out where things go you need to make it really obvious and actually i want to give away my favorite label maker to one of you guys watching so just make sure you are subscribed to this channel and leave a comment down below what is your number one most favorite item that you have in your fridge right now a couple specialized bins that i do recommend these acrylic egg organizers it is worth the trouble of putting your eggs in here. And same idea here with your canned drinks. One of these organizers allows you to stack 12 cans in here, makes it easy to grab. And now we have our items subdivided. Now when putting them back into the fridge and finding their perfect home, there is a science here. There's a strategy that if you could follow this, it's going to help keep your food fresh longer. So first we're gonna start with the outside doors. So because you're opening and closing the doors constantly, the door area on your fridge is the least temperature stable. So that's where you wanna put your items like condiments and other food products that have a lot of preservatives in them and are not as temperature sensitive. And a little hack here, you can get an extra one of these egg organizers, put this in the side door and you can store your condiments upside down. So that way when it's time, you need your sriracha sauce, you need a little hot sauce, you need some ketchup. By storing it upside down, it's just gonna squirt right out. You don't have to sit there for 20 minutes tapping it like a bongo, trying to get the sauce to come out. And then it all comes out at once and ruins your food. You don't wanna be there. And then on the left side is where we have all of our extra beverages, coconut water, juices, bottled drinks, things like that. So now we're gonna talk about the shelves going from top to bottom. The top part of your fridge, the temperature is going to be slightly higher. And for all of the shelves, the back is going to be colder than the front. So the top shelf is perfect for things like leftovers and your grab and go snacks, things that are not at high spoilage risk. I always like to put in the front the things that I wanna to remember to grab first because out of sight, out of mind. The middle shelf has a more stable and consistent temperature. It's a little bit colder as you go down. So you wanna put your foods here that have a lower spoilage risk. Eggs, deli meats, 
cheeses, sour cream. This is also where I put my HelloFresh ingredient meal bags, just right there in the middle shelf. Now for the bottom shelf. If anything you wanna remember, it's this. The bottom shelf on your fridge is going to be the coldest. So that's where you wanna put the items that have the higher spoilage risk. Things like milk, yogurt, half and half, your raw meats, all of those items you wanna put on the bottom. I know it's tempting to put your milk in the door of the fridge because it's easier to grab there, but that's the one thing you really wanna put in the actual fridge itself. Also, I have a separate bin for all of my raw meats and I keep that on the bottom shelf because again, it's the coldest there and by keeping them in their own self-contained bin, they're not gonna leak out anywhere. So next, moving down, most if not all refrigerators have those two crisper drawers and those are humidity controlled environments. So your vegetable drawer has a higher humidity because vegetables, they like that nice moist air. Think about your grocery store when you walk through, how they're being misted. It keeps that humidity nice and high to help keep your vegetables fresh longer. Now fruits by contrast don't work that same way and that excess moisture can actually cause them to spoil faster. There's two little added steps that I recommend. First, for your fruits, we put our berries in these specialized containers. These are specially designed for fruits to keep that airflow going and keep them fresh longer and it makes a big difference. I also don't pre-wash my fruits and veggies, I do it as I use them because that will just help keep them fresh longer as well. Also in both the fruit and vegetable drawer, I put one of these little blue apples. I've had them in there for years, but I just bought some new ones to keep them fresh. But this is designed to help absorb that ethylene gas, which will ripen your fruit and vegetables faster. So this is just one more thing you can do to help keep them fresher longer because you want to maximize the life of all of your produce so nothing goes to waste. Another thing I recommend everyone have in their fridge, which you probably already do, but just in case you don't, is an open container of baking soda and that's just going to effectively absorb any odors that are in your fridge. We love a fresh fridge. This new fridge I have has a special extra drawer right on the bottom that slides out and that's what I've designated as our snack drawer. I love that it's the lowest drawer because it's perfect kid height for Carter to look and grab some of his snacks. We use these same containers in all of our kitchen drawers and most of the drawers around the house. I love these, the price is amazing. I think a 10 pack is 10 bucks, so great price. And they fit nicely into that little bottom drawer, so everything is nice and subdivided. The key to organization, if you haven't noticed, clear containers, subdividing, that's it, pretty easy, you just have to do it. In particular, if you have the freezer drawer style like I do, it's really easy for that just to become an abyss in there. So for that, I just subdivide. So we have our frozen vegetables, frozen meats, frozen breakfast items. All right, so that is it for this very simple and quick method for organizing your fridge. And if there's any organization project that I've shared over the years that I recommend you try, let it be your fridge because it's something you interact with multiple times a day and I promise it is going to bring you so much joy. It's just that little extra touch in your life that is so worth it. And if you do go ahead and organize your fridge, definitely tag me in your pictures on Instagram. That would make my day. So with all of that being said, thank you as always so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if you watched all the way to the end of the video. And with all of that said, I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Hey, hon, where's my sausage thingy? You know, the thing I would keep it in the back far top corner? Where is that? What, what are you talking about, sausage? My sausage thingy, the thing I would keep it in the back. You know, like, they had a bag of sausage? Wait, you mean, you mean this, this nasty thing? No, I was making fermented sausage, come on. Oh my God, you know how long that took me? I've had this in there for over three years. This is a culinary masterpiece. This was aging like fine wine, okay? Look at this, delicious. You and your unsophisticated palate would not understand the culinary delight that would come from three plus years of fermentation, sausage fermentation. Oh, you know what? I'll let it slide this time, but in the future, when you're doing your little organization thing, you know, keep your hands off my meat. Blasphemy.